Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Darren with DR Bushcraft. Today we're going to do things just a little different. I know September is a prepared National Preparedness Month, but today I want to come out and show you what I have in my haversack pack and what I use it for and what I'm carrying in it. I'm sitting out here on this old tree that I had to cut down with old widow maker. Finally had to bring it down. It was just getting just too dangerous even be around. Trying to mow around it, looking up at it, making sure nothing's going to fall and hit you in the head while you was mowing. But anyway, we finally brought her down. It's gave us quite a bit of wood. It's still going to give us some more wood to use. Just got to get some more chains from a chainsaw. But today I want to show you, I got two packs here, but I just want to show you my haversack pack, which is put out by the Hidden Woodsman. And few other things I've incorporated in on it so I wanted to show you first of all I'm going to take this hat, hatchet out and well let's put it right there all right what I have on here on the outside of it and I'll see if I can show it this way here on the outside of it see if the camera can get it the Molly World water bottle now it has a little side pouch where you can put stuff in Molly the webbing here where you can add different things. Now this in here, what I've carried in it is just see if I get this unzipper. Just a regular water bottle. And sometimes this does begin to be a pain to open up with all the time open and closing. Just a regular plain Jane water bottle. But this thing does come equipped. I'm gonna get my finger in there. There you go. It does come with a hole for a straw. So you don't have to constantly take and unzipping it and leaving it, uh, unzip it and open it back up to take it out. But I'll leave it unzipped when it goes with it. Just keep an idea of, make sure it don't fall out or nothing if I'm leaning over. Then when I'm carrying on this here, few snacks, uh, some Nature ba uh, Baker uh, fig bars, man those things are awesome, some oatmeal, a Nature Valley biscuit peanut butter, these things are good, just in case you know if I, I'm out and I get a little snack I need something, Okay, and then on this side is my first aid kit, it's just a small pouch, and it's from Molly World. And I'll open it up, maybe nothing will fall out. What I've got in it, see up close, my gloves and a few things you need. God forbid if I gotta sew myself up, but sometimes things happen. But well, that's another thing to have is a good uh, first aid kit for being prepared for any pack or even in your vehicle. All right, of course you got the patch for the Raven and it's got the Hidden Woodsman on it. Also got Man of Cell, Joe Robinette's patch on there. Dark camo, it has a spot for your hatchet, which I had just a while ago in there. And the strap. Does real good. I don't know how good. Make sure I ain't overcut myself. You can carry it. It's lightweight, easy to go. Now this is just for going out, scouting, uh, looking for different places that you want to camp at or fish at or wherever. It's another thing I use this for too. If I'm going fishing and I know I can don't need a lot and I'm close to home, I'll take this stuff out and put my fishing stuff in. But not everything comes out. Alright, let's lay this thing down and get into it. It unsnaps here. 
Oh, let me show this back to you. So you can put something underneath here with the snaps here. It does, cord does unroll. Blanket or sleeping bag, whatever you're going to need to do if you're going out, staying overnight. Has a zipper. Now I know there's been videos done before of these, but I wanted to show you this one. Has a zipper here. Has another pocket up front. And then the pocket's here. Let's see what we got in this zipper. Well, I just closed it. Kind of tight. Now do carry Prepared X Poncho. They're good to have. Carry them. I'm going to lay this thing down to the side. And I also carry carry that little strap if I need it for something. And I also carry my hidden woodsman hanky. As you can see, lay it down if you out you want to eat something or Prepare your food. You got something you can lay down them right there on the ground, or use it for your uh, for a headband. And wipe your sweat off, whatever. Let's zip that back up. Then I carry a little smaller knife. It's a mossy oak. I was going to attempt to hang it around the bottom of or string around my neck. And I figured, no, it would be better just to keep it in my pack. Then another pouch that I keep from the Hidden Woodsman. Possible pouch. These things are awesome. You can hear it. All military grade leather. Or zipper, I mean. Now what I carry in this one... It's an old sewing kit, in case something breaks. Let's see if y'all can see too good or not. Sewing kit. It is actually from the U.S. Navy. And then I also carry my poor man's fishing kit that I make, which they're on the Estee, you can see, if you uh, would like to check them out. Uh, matter of fact, let's open it up and see. So, kid, let me show you that first. I'm sorry, folks. All right. Dang that. Here's a little kit and the needles, which I can't sew with the flip. And these scissors mind me of when it was in grade school. Little bitty scissors. But at least I it do have something. And my fishing kit, here we go which on the uh, site shows everything in there. And Molly World also carries them. You can go to mollyworld.com slash drbushcraft. Yep, sinkers, my worms, my uh, bobber, string, and stringer all in there. 12 pound test line, all in a little can. Carry right there in your front pocket if you needed to hidden or in a pack. I keep that with me. Throw that back in there. She's right there. Alright. Then we go to the inside. Get this little Velcro strap right here. Pretty tight. We'll go over that last. I'll explain that. Now I also carry, because a lot of times I try to get out Away from the house, away, pretty good ways at times, depending on the weather. Also carry a life gear, a little radio, flashlight. Let me turn this thing on. You can charge this thing from your wall, or you can wind it up. You wind it up either way. All right. Know how good you can see the light. And it's got a siren. Enough of that mess. Then it's got your radio. In the back, 
I can see to get to it to open it up but it's got a charge port where you a USB you can charge it from the wall it's got an on and off power button and I got this from Academy Sports I do believe it's like twenty dollars so it's a good little tool to have in hand you know you ain't got them real big square ones the long antenna and still I mean they're good too but it's just easy compact you can put this in your pocket if the ladies had it, they can put it in their purse or glove or in your glove box or your car. You've always got one. It's a good thing to have. All right. Then I keep my compass with me. Which we can see. I keep this in here. Well, this is a little bit better one than I had before. And I keep it. In this case, and then if I'm out, put this over on the side. If I'm out and I want something to drink or I've got something I can heat up, soup or something like that, I keep my Stanley deal, which a lot of people has these, and they come in handy. Open it up, go ahead and lock that for a little pot. Then your lid. Uh, put this here so I don't spill it. And a two two cup if somebody's with you. Then you've got measurements right here on the side, the outside, and on the inside. Right up here on the inside wall. So that helps when you if you got soup or something and you, you get hungry, you want something to eat. Lock this back. Easy to carry, easy to clean. Now the biggest part of this pack is my survivor pack. I call it my Big Mac, but this is from the Hidden Woodsman survivor pouch. Okay. I keep. A little tablet, waterproof tablet, a couple of pens. Now my pen is not uh, waterproof. It's a little cheap pen from the bank. They was free, so put that back in there. Now this is all military grade zipper. All right, now we open it up. You can hang this up just by the webbing from a tree or um, put you a line across and you can hang it over. And what I carry in this one, like this here, I to show you. And it's orange on the inside, which of course you y'all can see. And if you know some of these webbings here and stuff, there's still stuff I need that I haven't put in here yet. All right, here's a little brush, which you really don't need to brush. I ain't got much hair to brush anyways, but it does have the mirror. That's good for getting stuff out of your eyes. Uh, see if you got uh, something on your face. Then I carry put this right here. A water solder filter and a little bag with it as y'all can see oops that upside down and my little bag uh, carry that with me and I do believe the straws with it yep my straws with me so I keep it with it so it's there Put that to the side. Then my USB cord and my phone charger. Everybody's got this. No matter how bad it is or where you at, you've always got a phone. Well, I always keep a, a char battery charger up. 
This was a cheap one. I got better ones in, in other packs, but hard to see. But it's at a hundred percent. But it does work it well, get you out of a bind. And that's one of the good things that, about these little battery chargers. They will keep a char hold a charge and keep it for a good while. But I do check them from time to time. And then I carry a little auto scan, just in case. Extra lighter. I like to check it from time to time to make sure it still works. It does. Some cotton uh, in there just in case if I need it. Some little swabs. All right. Let me zip that up. Let's go to the other side. Carry paracord, 25 feet of paracord. And I carry a little flashlight in here. Put that back in there. I'll be lost it on that tree. And put this down. And my knife. Real quick. There it is. Everybody knows what this is. Feral rod. The hidden woodsman has them. It's a tight fit with the case. You can hear it slides out. It's awful dry. Ain't going to much more than that. All right, carry that in there. Put this back up. I don't drop it or cut myself. Then, of course, everybody knows what Mother Nature is. Well, you need that. Then I carry some hand wipes, which Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, any of those I have them pretty cheap. And then a little multi-tool carry. It's bad about coming out. I'm a little needle. But I carry it. It's got all my everything I need on it. Screwdriver, quartz screw, your blades, bottle opener. This comes in handy. Keep it in there. Ooh, it's hot. But this is just some of the things that I wanted to show you. That I have. Oh, and I carry some little bitty snacks and some tea. If you want tea, I carry that as well. And let's see. Lipton tea, and these little jewels are fruit snacks. I think you can get them at Walmart or somewhere like that. Or any grocery store would have them. But they come in handy. Now, the last thing I told you I would show you is this little pack. Everything's falling off with me behind me. This little pack. My kids just have to make sure that I have it with me at all times. A lot of times I'm out there going and they won't let me never go by myself early. Ooh, it's hot, excuse me. So, this is my sugar kit. My sugar don't jump up, run high. It's nothing like that. But what it does do, it bottoms out on me. Gives me no sign, no warning. So I have to constantly check. So I'm always keeping something with me when I'm eating. But this is one of the things, if 
you're like this. I, I forgot what they call it. You can comment down below, but I, I remember, I just forget it, the name of it. But my, my sugar just bottoms out on me. It's not all the time, but I never know when. So I tried to keep this with me to check, and I keep snacks with me. That's within peanut butter or something, that I know I can bring it up. Uh, now, if I'm going out longer than just an hour or two, I'm going to this pack, my day rug pack. It's got everything in it, and usually I have it in the car with me just as I'm taking off. So I know anything that may come about with this, I get to this, I'm home free because I've got everything in this pack for me. Uh, and now I got a chopper coming over. And it's a little cloudy day, kind of smoky. Not just or what you uh, want in your pack, but incorporate you a good first aid kit, uh, some snacks and stuff in there for you. But other than that, I want to uh, say thank y'all for, for watching. Comment down below. Give me some ideas what, what you think else you can use these uh, haversack packs for. I'd like to know what y'all using them for, if you have one. If not, what are you using? Just let me know. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. There's more videos to come. And I want to say thank you.